Well, Professor James Head has trained astronaut crews and participated in the selection of landing sites for the Apollo moon program. He's in uh, Cape Cod in the United States. James, welcome back. Great to see you. I mean, these launches seem routine now, don't they? But they must be absolutely terrifying. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I watch everyone I can. I watched the uh, Shinto one this morning. Uh, very successful launch. I love to watch the crew. Uh, and also, it was new to me to see the crew in this heavenly palace actually watching the launch. That was really spectacular. So it is not like going down to the corner market, that's for sure. So it is a lot of moving parts, and it's very dangerous. And the trick is to make it look like it was easy. And that's what they've been doing. It's great. Where does today sit in uh, China's wider space program? Well, I think... China has been very successful, uh, really just starting, uh, you know, 30, 40 years ago uh, into a really formidable space program, and they've been doing an excellent job. Basically, uh, they have the uh, Earth orbiting platform and uh, uh, lots of activities there, all the kinds of things we're talking about. And, of course, the Lunar and Planetary Exploration Program, there's a mission on the way to an asteroid to return samples. Uh, there's very successful lunar missions. We've been working with them on the samples, and, and it's incredible. First return from the far side of the moon and more to come so it's very very successful what do you think we might learn from this space voyage i think that you know uh, there's a number of things uh, i think one of the things is basically we need to learn how humans live in space and of course we've been in uh, earth orbit in the international space station for over 25 years uh, but uh, you still need longer term and multiple uh, perspectives. So uh, it's really important, each individual mission, while it may not seem like, oh my gosh, we've got the first rocks back from the moon, uh, it is indeed a very major contribution ahead. And I think, uh, you know, looking at the details here, I mean, uh, uh, earlier, uh, the um, uh, the uh, uh, TNGO-8 took bricks to the moon, uh, t took bricks to the space station to look, put them on the outside and see how they behaved. And that's really important because you need to learn how to make things on the moon so you can live in things. And so we've actually been doing that in our own um, uh, program here uh, at Brown University and, and NASA, uh, looking at how we can reduce the up mass, where up mass is how many bricks and center blocks are you going to take to build things on the moon? Uh, and the answer is not very many. So you need to be innovative. That's what we're doing. That's what China is doing with these uh, things that have been placed on the outside of the heavenly palace uh, to look at the exposure, etc. So lots of really important things going on. This is obviously uh, China's day and a proud day for China, but space exploration is, uh, is an international endeavor, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, you know, first of all, <laughs> it's just not only international for the Earth, but if you look at to outer space, uh, it's an incredible infinity of, of opportunities to learn. And no, no one nation can, uh, you know, can corner the market, so to speak. And so we really need all the help we can get. And we need all the perspectives. Uh, you know, it's really important to think differently about things and share those, that, that information. And that's, that's what's going on internationally now in space science and exploration. And it's absolutely spectacular. For example, the first samples from the far side of the moon returned by, uh, uh, Chang 5 and 6, uh, you know, really incredible, incredible uh, results uh, that have helped us understand the moon and our own place in the solar system. I know you walk into university and inspire a new generation of uh, scientists, but days like today are important even for very young scientists, children even, to be inspired by. I think that's really true. And, you know, basically the Space is the future. I mean, it is the future. Uh, Apollo 16 astronaut John Young said, uh, why do we explore the moon? Why do we want to go to the moon? Because single planet species don't survive. We really need to be thinking in the long term here. That's a scary thought. But in fact, we need to go and populate the solar system uh, so that we can explore it, to understand it, uh, and uh, indeed to live there uh, on the moon very soon, I think.